Well, Lent and Holy Week end with resurrection. They end with Easter Sunday. And that is good news indeed. It is certainly good news that the world needs to hear at this time. Death did not defeat Jesus. Jesus broke the chains of death and rose to a new way of living and loving beyond our wildest imagining. The resurrection of Jesus was an earth-shattering event. It was an explosion of cosmic joy, as someone has described it. In other words, it was an event that impacted the whole cosmos, the whole universe. The resurrection of Jesus was the most important event in human history. It is the foundation of the Christian faith and it is our great source of hope. So what are the implications of the resurrection for our lives? What does it mean for us and what does it mean for our world? Well, one implication of the resurrection is the fact that Jesus is alive. He is still with us. The presence and power of the risen Jesus permeate, they permeate our lives. As a consequence of the resurrection, Jesus is no longer limited by time and space. He is no longer limited by time and space. He is present with us and to us at every moment of every day, he is, to use that expression, the invisible companion of our life's journey. Jesus is the invisible companion of our life's journey. So we do not wait, have to wait for heaven to experience the things that Jesus offers us. Friendship. Healing. Peace joy, forgiveness, and of course, unconditional acceptance and unconditional love. These things are already available to us. The risen Jesus is working in our lives. He is involved with us here and now. As Richard Rohr puts it, we are now living in a Christ-soaked world. Isn't that beautiful? And that's the implication of the resurrection. We are living in a Christ-soaked world. Now, a second implication of the resurrection has to do with the mission of Jesus. The resurrection was a vindication of the way Jesus lived his life. It was a confirmation of the values Jesus preached, practiced, and ultimately died for. Look, the way of Jesus works. It works. When Jesus was nailed to that cross on Good Friday, it seemed as if his mission was a failure, that he had offered the world a non-realistic vision of happiness. But the resurrection changed that. It transformed it. Jesus was no dreamer. He was no dreamer. His values of justice and compassion and service and humility and forgiveness are in fact the only values at work. His values are the values that make the world a better place and bring us personal fulfillment. The resurrection of Jesus was proof, was proof that love is stronger than hate, that goodness is greater than evil and that life is more powerful than death.
Now hold on to that. That's important. The resurrection of Jesus was proof that love is stronger than hate. Goodness is greater than evil. And life is more powerful than death. A third implication of the resurrection of Jesus has to do with how growth happens. Growth involves dying and rising. Look, we're all invited to change and grow as we go through life. The pattern of change in growth in our lives is a process of dying and rising. It is what we call the Paschal Mystery. There is no Easter Sunday without a Good Friday, and Good Friday leads to Easter Sunday. So in order to experience resurrection, we have to be open to what happened on Good Friday. And Good Friday is about letting go. It is about surrender. It is about emptying. It is also about trusting and waiting when we do not see the light at the end of the tunnel. And that's experience we're all familiar with in these difficult times of the pandemic. You see, it is these things, letting go, surrender, emptying, trusting and waiting when we do not see the light at the end of the tunnel that creates space in our lives and particularly space in our hearts for Jesus to fill, to fill with his light and his life and his love. There is indeed wisdom in the saying, there is no gain without pain. Of course, another implication of the resurrection of Jesus, and I'll finish with this, is the transformation of death. The transformation of death. Our death is not the end. It is not the end. Because what happened to Jesus on Easter Sunday will also happen to us. We will share in the risen life of Jesus when we die. Because of the resurrection of Jesus, we have a life to look forward to beyond the grave. Because of the resurrection of Jesus, a new world will be opened up to us on the other side of death. Because Jesus rose from the dead, the place we call heaven is our destiny, our destination, our future home. In the words of St. Paul, it is in fact our true home, our true home. Because of the resurrection of Jesus, the future is bright because the best is yet to come. So now, isn't it for very good reasons that we can say that the resurrection of Jesus is the foundation of our Christian faith? And the energy, the energy that drives our Christian lives. It belongs to the Christian to hope. 